in order to maintain a more minimal lifestyle, I've had to curb shopping habits so that I'm not bringing in a ton of just junk into my house. I wasn't really expecting that. <laughs> Softly. So it doesn't slam. Do you guys ever do that? Where you just kind of dump it all in a crock pot and see what happens? Life's too good to wait. Well, hello everyone. I'm so glad you stopped by my channel today for this video, which is buckle up. <laughs> it's a two day get it all done with me. And I've just had this itch to get my house tidy and clean. I think it's as we're approaching the springtime. So if you're looking for some spring cleaning motivation, I'm bringing that to you a little bit early this year, as well as some decluttering motivation. And I've got a fun thrift haul that I'm sharing as well as a random crock pot recipe that I tried that made a really yummy meal for us. I'm also going to be chatting about some of the highlights of our little mountain getaway trip that my husband and I took and you're also gonna see glimpses of my life as a work from home mom of three and all the ups and the downs that that comes with so let me know in the comments right now what the weather is like where you are right now as you'll see in this video the weather's doing some crazy things here in the Pacific Northwest and like I said I'm just getting that itch to clean and spruce up the place and I hope you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up if you do and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and let's get this first day started and get working on our to-do lists good morning good morning welcome to my day okay still have my hair towel on I literally just stepped out of the shower kids are eating breakfast what are you guys eating oatmeal, but... oatmeal. What else? We alternate between eggs and toast and oatmeal every other morning. That's kind of our little routine that we've got going on right now. But they're eating right now. We're gonna head out in just a bit, so I've gotta get myself ready. Yeah. Haley has a short little class this morning at preschool, and so the boys are with me. They're gonna be my little buddies. We're gonna do some thrifting, maybe grab some coffee together. So we're in a rush to get out the door. I've gotta get my hair dried and my face on. You guys, I'm so excited. Tomorrow I get my hair cut and I still don't know how short I'm gonna go with it. I think my plan is just to take like three inches off, maybe a little bit more with like blending and trimming and stuff like that. So not enough this time to donate it. A couple years ago I donated close to a foot of hair. Um, but my hair was really long back when I did that. Right now it just needs a refresh. Thank you. Oh, you split it up for me. Yeah, that's so nice of you. Thank you. That's so sweet about it. Well, I ordered a venti frappuccino, and I think because I've done that at this um, location before, they know that I'm getting it for you guys to split up. So they just split it up for me into two tall cups. How sweet is that? Okay, we are here at the thrift store. Where's Haley? These it's cool. I just dropped off some donations for my last decluttering project and then we have a couple of things we need specifically from here. I always like to go into a store with an actual plan and be really intentional about what I buy even when it's a store that has very inexpensive stuff like a thrift store. In order to maintain a more minimal lifestyle I've had to curb shopping habits not just for money but also so that I'm not bringing in a ton of just junk into my house. What are we looking for in the thrift store today? Grubby clothes. Grubby clothes, yes. Yeah. So Weston and I are going out of Dirty town clothes. this weekend for a couple of days. The boys are hanging out with Weston's parents. 
and uh, Weston's dad texted me and said, make sure you bring grubby clothes for them. And I found their grubby clothes and I realized they were way too and small. And my sister is going to take a room and have. Yep, and Haley is gonna go with my mom. It's just for a couple of days and it's actually really good for them to have some separate time. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Oh. Okay, so we're getting our masks on and we will see what the thrift store has for us today. We found some good stuff and the little alarm on my watch is going off here to say time to go pick up Haley. We are gonna make it just in time. But before we do, sanitize our hands. Ooh, I have a little itchy spot, a little eczema spot on my hand that stings whenever I put hand sanitizer on. Okay guys, I'm gonna throw this back to you. Sanitize your hands and let's go. Hello. Hi. Did you have a good day at school? Mom? Yeah. <laughs> There's your foot. We found something fun for you at the thrift store, Haley. We'll see it when we get home. Let's drive there really quick. Is that a new dress? No. You'll see. Home again, home again. Can you say home again, home again? Home again, home again. again. <laughs> How was school today, Haley? Okay. It was so good. We primarily homeschool, but the kids do attend a because little morning preschool kindergarten short class. Day for me. Oh. Yep, and it's a short day for Haley today. It was just like an hour and a half long. So that gave us plenty of time to go find some goodies at the thrift store, and I'm gonna give you guys the little haul. Some snow gloves for the boys. These no. were, oh my gosh, $3.99 a pair. That is so cheap compared to when you buy them brand new, and they outgrow them in a year. I also found these little mittens for Haley for the snow. Look, what's on those, Haley? Yeah. Little bears, aren't those so cute? And then I, f look, I found these for when you're playing outside and your hands get cold. She's been putting socks on her hands to go play outside. And so I found these little ones. I mean, how adorable are those? And they were 99 cents. So in the way of clothing, I did find myself a sweater. Isn't this cute? This is the A and A brand. I think this is from J.C. Penney originally. It's kind of like that tunic length. I like this seam detail down the middle. Kind of got a little drop shoulder thing going on. I like this uh, thick ribbing here. This will be perfect for our cozy little mountain getaway trip that Wes and I are taking this weekend. So that's gonna go in the wash. The main thing we went in for grubby pants for the boys. We found a couple pairs. So I found this pair, it's already pretty grubby. We are definitely gonna wash them before we wear them. Um, look at this pair that I found. We were cracking up at this. Like there's this little monster with like a little flannel detail in his mouth on the knee pad. How cute is that? And each of these pairs were $2. Also found a little Hanes basic sweatshirt for the boys. This will be good for grubby clothes as well. And this cute little striped t-shirt with a little pocket detail. How cute, and the yellow tags today were all 50% off, so this was 99 cents. And I have a shirt, I didn't. I don't think I showed this to you guys. I found this. Um, I have a shirt for St. Patrick's Day that has Yoda on it, and it's like, lucky I am, or something like that, it says that. And it was actually a shirt that I gave my brother Luke, who you guys will see in a little bit, actually. And I gave it to him when he was probably 11 or 12 years old, um, and now it's gonna be for the boys. It'll be a little oversized on them, but I thought, this went perfectly with that. We have a Yoda shirt, we have a Darth Vader shirt, and these are all little shamrocks. So I guess we're doing a Star Wars themed St. Patrick's Day. I found this in the women's section and I can't tell if it's women's or boys. I think it's a boys small. Like look at how short these sleeves are. Um, it's a Chaps brand, women's designer clothes, and this was actually on a 50% off rack, so it ended up only being like $2.50. But look at how cute this cardigan is with these little button details. It's definitely too small for me and I'm a women's small. Like, these sleeves are so short. I think it's a boy's small and it was so affordable. It looks like it's hardly even been worn. There's like no pilling or anything. Uh, and then we just got a couple more things. We have this little Lego organizer and it's like a tackle box where you can like switch the arrangements of these compartments to suit whatever it is that you are storing in here. You can close it up. This is similar to the one that I gave Uncle Luke for Christmas, except the one that I gave him was from the 1980s and all of their toys today were 99 cents. So we got that and there was this little Mickey here. 
how cute is he? The other Mickey that we had ended up getting all ripped up, so we needed a new we Mickey. We took off his pants. <laughs> and he actually was brand new with tags, so that's nice. He was 99 cents. And these were all 10 cents. We showed you this Frozen one. We got some kids like National Geographic's magazines. We don't really subscribe to anything like this and have it sent in the mail because seriously, you can find these at the thrift store for a dime. Got some highlights, uh, Mathamania, Puzzle Mania. This is uh, one all about California. Oh, look and then this. look at what we spied. Look at this. It's called the Charlie Brown Dictionary. Over 580 pictures in full colors. 2,400 words defined. <laughs> this basically is a dictionary for kids, like a Webster's Dictionary for kids. It's not Webster's, obviously. Um, but it has these words defined as they pertain to Charlie Brown or Peanuts Gang uh, stories. I just thought that was so cute. What year is this from? This definitely looks older. It looks like this book was printed in 1973, but there's been versions of it going all the way back to 19... 47, 1959, I don't know. It looks old, but it looks fun. So I think we got a good little haul of stuff. I think it came to under about 25 bucks. First things first, I'm going to de-tag these items and throw clothing and Mickey and the baby doll and the snow gloves into the washing machine. Give those a quick wash. We're gonna wipe down any plastic toys or books or stuff like that with a little disinfectant wipe. And then actually, like I said, you guys get to see my brother. He works for me sometimes. Um, and this week, since Weston and I are gonna be out of town over the weekend, I'm losing a couple of work days that I would typically have in the week. So I'm trying to get my stuff done earlier before we go so that I don't have to bring my laptop with me. I have a little bit of work to do before I can do that, which is why my brother's coming over today. He's gonna hang out with the kids for a little bit while I work at my computer. Oh, are there stickers in that book? Every, every. Score. Okay guys, before Uncle Luke gets here, let's do a super fast tidy up. I'm gonna set a five minute timer and I want you guys to clean up as many things as you can find in the living room, okay? On your marks. Get set, a go. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself. Or I'm gonna be Mickey to wash. Mickey having a bath? <laughs> yeah, get a watch him. There he is. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to show you guys this on our little thrift store haul. This was outside of the bag. We found Operation for a couple bucks. So we're gonna get all these pieces together. We just wiped it down with a disinfectant wipe. and It's on the, it's on the back. I played Operation so much with Luke. I'm 11 years older than Luke, for those of you who don't know. Luke will be 18 this year. And I'm 11 years older than them. And he's 11 years older than the boys. So I'm gonna let you guys do that. Have a good day. Have a good couple of hours, um, and I'm gonna sit here at my desk. My room is a mess right now, Ugh. But I'm at least gonna clear off my desk here because I cannot work with a messy desk. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. So Luke found this in the homeschooling bin, and I think he's gonna work a little bit with the boys on some Spanish. <laughs> So good. This will be fun for them. The boys are visiting me for a second, eating my crackers. What did you just get out of the dryer? Mickey. Mickey, is he all clean? Okay guys, Luke is gonna be here for 10 more minutes and I'm gonna finish up at my computer and then we'll spend some time together, okay? Sounds good. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so done right now. <laughs> my day just took a turn. Actually not just, it took a turn about an hour ago and I have been working to get my computer recovered. Right after I said, okay boys, we're gonna spend some time together. I went to export my projects, I saved everything. I went to export it and my whole computer just 
crashed, just whoop, went away. Couldn't even access my recovery files from the autosaves and everything. I couldn't even get into my computer. I've been on the phone with Apple and Adobe back and forth for so long. I'm working frantically to get these videos done so that I can actually have a vacation. And it's only a two day vacation. <laughs> Not take a lot of time for myself. And I'm thankful for what I have and I'm thankful that I do get to go take a trip and that my husband and I get to go spend that time together and that we have family who it's safe for our kids to go see and to spend time with and a couple nights with. There's a lot for me to be thankful for in this situation. But right now, oh my gosh, I am at the end of my rope. And I just need to walk away from this stupid computer while it's regenerating these recovery files for me and I think I'm just gonna go around the house and all right just threw the last load of laundry in that's what I'm gonna sort through tomorrow before I pack everything. Mm -hmm. Weston's home. Hi. Hi. How are you? I have to show them your shirt. This is the way. Get it. <laughs> Tell you what, nothing like hubby coming home to help me lift my mood even though I am still Absolutely. frustrated with my computer. Yeah. Kids are already getting started with dinner. Weston and I are gonna sit down and join them and I'm gonna say goodbye to you this day for this video. I will pick it up tomorrow. Tomorrow's a new day. Hopefully I'm feeling better. Hopefully my computer's cooperating for me because it's the last day for any of that stuff to work out before we are off on our little trip. So I will see you tomorrow. Well, hello. <laughs> It's a couple weeks later. My hair is four inches shorter, although you couldn't tell because I have it in a messy bun here. Um, I got my computer figured out, amongst other things. We went on our trip. It was so much fun. I've come back, filmed other videos, and you know what? I thought that I would just wrap up this vlog with doing a, just another day added to it. I'm about to head out the door and go grab the kids. It was a school day for them this morning for a couple of hours. I have to stop by Home Depot to grab a couple of things. And then when we get back, we are tidying up this house because it's a little bit of a mess after the Super Bowl yesterday. Um, and I'm going to work on the kids' bathroom. I showed a little bit of it in the last Get It All Done With Me that went up on my video that I've already filmed. It's already up on this channel things are out of order things are a little bit crazy around here but I thought that I would give you guys even more motivation to tackle some stuff on your to-do list by including what I am doing today so come along with me I'm in better spirits than the last time you guys saw me in this video and um, I'm ready to get some stuff done it's a beautiful sunny day and I have a few things that I want to check off my to-do list for today so First, let's go get the kids, stop by Home Depot, and then we'll be back to get this house taken care of. And, oh boy, does it need it. How was school today? It was good. Oh, I told you guys it was a beautiful sunny day and then the weather turned. It's crazy. It's hailing slash snowing at the same time. It's like freezing rain, but it's still kind of warm outside. It's weird weather today. You wish you could fly and in the distance I see It's so cool outside. I know. We're supposed to get snow later this week. Hey, that's not where your backpack goes. Yeah. My house is a mess and I was working on some business stuff earlier today, some tax stuff that took me away from like my daily morning chores and stuff like that. So I have some catch up work to do. Typically this is all done by now um, and I have a short window of time to get a lot of stuff done. So I'm gonna roll up my sleeves and we are gonna get to work. There's a sun in the sky, there's a cloud drifting by. All kinds of birds make you wish you I see someone waving at me. I hope that it's you, but who else could it be? I guess it would be nice to belong in your arms. I hope you feel the same way too. Na 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 
Okay, the kitchen is clean and it's sunny again. Look at that. For those of you who are under the illusion that Seattle just rains all the time, that couldn't be farther from the truth. We can literally have all four seasons in one day. Today is a very good example of that. But the kitchen is clean. I'm about to mess it up again though because it's time to make dinner. I wanted to get some stuff thrown in the crock pot. I don't really know what I'm making. I have a rotisserie chicken that I bought yesterday that I'm gonna rip apart. Some leftover um, peppers and onions that Weston made last night with the tacos that we had during the Super Bowl. I also have like a jar of marinated artichoke hearts, some capers, some tomato sauce. I thought maybe of making kind of like a chicken cacciatore sort of thing. I don't know. We'll see what it turns into. Do you guys ever do that? Where you just find whatever you have laying around or half bottles of stuff that need to be used up from your fridge or pantry and you just kind of dump it all in a crock pot and see what happens? I'm having one of those days and so we shall see what happens with this. Oh, and do you like my apron? <laughs> I haven't had an apron for years and then um, my sister got me one for Christmas for occasions such as this where I'm wearing a white sweater and dealing with tomato sauce. So, wish me luck. We'll see how this turns out. First, I'm just gonna rip up this chicken. It's a little baby chicken. <laughs> sure. starting a crock pot meal a little later than I normally do. It's almost two o'clock right now. So I'm gonna put this on high and hope for the best. And yes, I have self tanner streaks on my neck and my face is lighter than the rest of my body. <laughs> oh, it is what it is. I put on some self tanner for our little getaway that Weston and I went on and my, my face, it's definitely worn off. But oh my gosh, you guys, this hotel that we went to, we have been wanting to go for a few years. It was so beautiful. It's called the Post Hotel in Leavenworth, Washington. It's in the mountain pass, like right on the east side of the mountain pass. Um, we live on the west side, in case you didn't know that. Leavenworth, Washington is a Bavarian um, style town. So there's lots of like German, Bavarian sort of influence. And um, this hotel, the Post Hotel, it's a spa. It's an Austrian, like Alps inspired hotel. So I felt very like sound of music, the hills are alive <laughs> when I was there. And it was so beautiful. The snow in the mountain when you're there, our room had this like balcony and you just like open these French doors to this gorgeous snowy landscape. It was so gorgeous. They have a spa there with this pool. It's an adults only um, hotel, so. Definitely quiet there and everyone's like super quiet and classy and they keep to themselves and they were at like I think 25% capacity because of COVID restrictions and everything was so clean and everyone's wearing their masks everywhere and this pool you go through the pool from the inside and you can open these doors and then swim outside and you're like swimming outside in this nice warm salt water mineral water pool with the mountains surrounding you and it's like the drive alone is just absolutely gorgeous it's amazing like any time of the year but especially in winter it's just so cool to see god's creation and how gorgeous it is and of course you know being able to stay at the hotel and have that view from our bedroom and wake up to the mountains every morning was just spectacular as was the food as was everything else about this hotel it was worth every penny and i i'm so grateful that we were able to go this time i'm just gonna do Onion powder, garlic powder, oregano, salt and pepper, and call it good. A little bit of salt, not too much. A little bit of pepper. We were just gone for two nights, but it had been since our uh, Disney trip that we went on this time last year, since we had been alone. <laughs> it was very nice, very relaxing. So, I'm gonna get this lid on, and that is smelling lovely. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of that footage that I took. I really, I didn't bring my vlogging camera with us. That was just with my iPhone, and we had our phones away, um, phones and cameras away for most of the time that we were there, but I did wanna capture little bits of it so I could remember at least. Dinner is made. I think I'll just have to uh, boil some pasta. Now, I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up at Home Depot. Not that exciting. I mean, I'm pretty excited about it. Let me show you. Toilet seats, yay! <laughs> I wanted to replace our toilet seats for over a year now. Um, they're all loose and wiggly. One of them doesn't even fit. It's like the wrong shape for the bowl. Um, this one is from the Kohler brand. This has a soft close feature, so 
excited about that. This one is for the kids' bathroom, and it has a built-in smaller ring for this one's little booty. Should we do your bathroom first? Yeah. Okay. There's a couple of things we're actually gonna do in this bathroom today. We are going to install the new toilet seat, and then on the wall here, I am going to take these birds in boxes. I don't know what this is. This has been like this from the previous owners. Everyone has different tastes and that's okay. If you have birds and squares at your house, more power to you. But it's it's not my style. I just kind of rolled with it. But I have the bathroom cabinet that I took out of our master bathroom, which you guys may have seen in the last Get It All Done With Me video. I put a bigger one in our bathroom. The smaller one is going in here on the wall above the toilet because the kids are ready to have like a little medicine cabinet in here so we can put toothbrushes and little hand cream and stuff like that in there. You know, normal stuff that's in a bathroom cabinet. Natalie's getting chatty and doesn't need to explain every little detail of what she's doing. But right now, I'm going to install the toilet seat. Okay, let's watch it. <laughs> softly. So it doesn't slam. Can be loud? Yep. It makes a little loud noise. Okay, there we go. Look at that clink. I got momentarily interrupted. Weston called. He's on his way home and he asked me to start rice. I thoroughly washed my hands like three times. It was a little gross to take off that toilet seat cover. I wasn't really expecting that. So now I am um, informed of a new place to scrub and to sanitize that I didn't know existed. Oh well. I'm gonna start this rice, gonna cook it for five minutes, grab in the drill, and we are going to hang this. Oh, are you testing out the toilet seat again? I'm gonna give her a moment here. I respect my kids and not show them on the toilet or in the bath, <laughs> um, but the verdict is that it is a perfect size for her little butt which I'm very happy about and the soft clothes feature the kids are fascinated by it and I'm very excited about it because it'll be nice to not have slamming toilet seats in the wee hours of the morning like I'm used to I asked her to s tell Weston rice is started that's what she typed out for me needs to be in between the lines. If I put that screw over there like too low, then it would make this side go up and it would make that bubble go to the side. See? So you know that it's level and straight when that bubble is inside the line. Isn't that cool? And now you have a little cabinet, which I have to scrub up a little bit. loving the way this looks. We've got little washcloths here for when they're in the bath, one for each of them. And then in here I have toothbrushes, their uh, cup for when they brush their teeth. There's a little bedtime spray that they use. I have some Epsom salts for bath time, also for bath time, shampoo, conditioner for Haley's hair. I have a little bit of like a homemade detangler in this that I spray on her hair with a little comb here for all three kids. I have some of her little white hair ties in here as well some um, hairspray in there for them. That is everything in there. I was able to take a few things out from my bathroom from last week that you guys saw, as well as a couple of things from out of here. I was able to get a good little pile of stuff that's just garbage that needs to go away. I'm just gonna gather up this garbage here in the hall and get it out and uh, start some laundry. Weston's going to install the uh, toilet seat in our bathroom at another time. I just wanted to get it for him to do that. The toilet seat in the kids' bathroom is looking good and it's looking so much better in there. I'm glad to get that cabinet in there. So 
kids are watching Blue's Clues now. I think I'm gonna join them. I love Blue's Clues. Um, and I'm going to get some laundry done. So why don't you grab a basket of laundry or put the wash into the dryer and get that started and we'll get some work done together. Every hour I've lost, there's two I've won. The rain has made the mountain I've become I'll stand until I'm And now it's snowing <laughs> while we watch the weather episode of Blue's Clues. Life's too good to wait. Life's too to wait Life's too good to wait Hi! Welcome home. Hi. You look so dark over there. Oh, there we go. There you go. Life's too good to wait Well, our sunny, then rainy, then hailstorm, snow, back to sunny day ended up having a beautiful sunset that we were able to enjoy during our yummy dinner. It actually turned out really good, this random crock pot meal. I will leave the recipe in the description box if you guys have these ingredients on hand and want to throw it in your crock pot to have a yummy sort of chicken cacciatore type meal in the crock pot it was really good and i hope you enjoyed this whole vlog coming along with me for a couple of different days seeing the good and the bad moments and getting some motivation along the way i hope you were encouraged that we all have good and bad days and that we're all in this together so give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it don't forget to subscribe and turn that bell button on to not miss future videos from me thank you so much for spending a little part of your day here with me on my channel and I'll catch you later.